this question test concepts and absolute value it's a problem solving question a b c are not equal to 0 what is the difference between the maximum and minimum value of s s is defined as follows s is equal to 1 plus modulus of a by a plus 2 into modulus of b by b plus 3 into modulus of a into b by a b minus 4 into modulus of c by c we need to find out the difference between the maximum value that x can take and the minimum value that x can take right what we are going to do is we are going to break this into four steps first we are going to identify when is it going to be maximum and we are going to compute that value we are going to understand when is it going to be minimum and we are going to compute that value too the third step is obvious one we are going to compute the difference and get to the answer and one last thing i would like to point out what could have been the trap and where could one have gone wrong in this question let's start with step number one when will it be maximum it's going to be maximum if we can make all of these terms positive because sum of all positive numbers is going to be is the largest value that it can possibly take but before that let's understand what would a modulus of a by a will return right i'm going to use this the value of modulus of x by x is either going to be one or it's going to be minus one when will it be a one it is going to be 1 when x is positive. For example, modulus of 5 divided by 5. Modulus of 5 will always be 5 divided by 5 will be a 1. Modulus of minus 5 divided by minus 5. Modulus of minus 5 will also be a 5 divided by minus 5. The value is going to be minus 1. So, modulus of x by x is going to be 1 when x is positive, is going to be minus 1 when x is negative. So, we'll have to maximize this. We'll have to try and see if we can make this 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 and this all these four terms positive right so the wax expression gets maximized when all of these terms are positive all these three terms will be positive when both a and b are greater than zero if a is positive this is going to take a value of one b is positive this is going to take a value of one if a and b are both positive then this is also going to take a value which is going to be equal to one when will this fourth term modulus of minus 4 into modulus of c by c be positive this entire term is a negative term so if i multiply it with a minus 1 the net result is going to be positive so modulus of c by c should be equal to a minus 1 that's going to happen when c is negative so what is the maximum value that's possible the maximum value that's possible is 1 plus modulus of a by a is going to be a 1 2 times of modulus of b by b is going to be a 2 3 times of modulus of AB by AB is going to be a 3 minus if you make this term a minus 4 that's going to return a value which is going to be plus 4. So net result is the maximum value that's possible for this expression is 11 and when is that going to be possible? AB positive C negative. Let's move on to step 2. We'll find out when will it be a minimum. It's going to be minimum if you can get as many of these terms as negative as possible and if you can't get all terms negative for some reason then let's try and get those terms with a higher magnitude negative right for example if we can make only one of these two terms negative let's say then it's better to make this term negative and not this term negative because this got a higher magnitude which is when the value is going to be lower let's proceed and check out what happens c has to be positive for this expression to be minimum right basically this is already a negative term so if i make c positive this net result is going to be negative so that is done so we know one thing that we'll have to do is that we'll have to make c to be positive. Now, the value of the expression a, b will be negative. a, b is a product of a and b. This is going to be negative. Then one of these two terms is positive and the other is negative. See, it cannot both be positive. It cannot both be negative. Both a and b are negative. Then a, b becomes positive. Then 3 into modulus of a, b by a, b will take a positive value. It's got a really big magnitude. So we'll have to try and make this number negative. That's going to happen only when one of A or B is positive. Without delving much into it, let's look at both cases. Let's make A positive and B negative. In that case, what happens? 1 plus modulus of A by A will be a plus 1. Modulus of B by minus B, where B is negative. So 2 times of this is going to be a minus 2. If A is positive, B is negative. A, B will be negative. Therefore, this is going to be minus 3. We made C positive. This is minus 4. The net result is minus 7. What could have happened if A is negative and B is positive? The result is going to be a minus 5. We want a really low value. The really low value between the two is actually a minus 7. So, the minimum value for this expression is minus 7. When does that happen? It happens when B and C are basically negative and A is positive. 
Now the next step is basically to find out the difference. We found the maximum value to be 11. We know that we computed the minimum value to be a minus 7. So difference between the maximum and minimum value is 18 and choice E is the correct answer. As I had mentioned at the start of this video, we will find out what could have been the trap and what should one watch out for. What makes this question actually an interesting one. The trap is choice D. Right? The maximum value there is absolutely no problem at all. But while computing the minimum value, we would have figured out that we should make all these numbers negative. Right? If all of these numbers can become negative, then that's when the value is going to be the least. So we would say that let's make it negative. So how does one make it negative? Make this as minus 1, make this as minus 2, make this as minus 3. So we would have said the minimum value is minus 4, minus 3, minus 7, minus 9, minus 10, plus 1, which is equal to minus 9. So the obvious thing that comes to our mind is try and make this as minus 9. The maximum value is 11. So the difference is equal to 20. But the only trap is if A, B has to be negative, then only one of A or B can be negative. The other has to be positive, which essentially brings the minimum value from minus 7 to minus 9 to minus 7. This is the correct one. This is the incorrect one. So this choice D actually is the trap in this question. Visit www.q-51 for more GMAT hard math questions. Right? If you have any feedback about these questions or you would like any topic to be visited, send us an email to info at 4gmat.com. GMAT classes at Chennai, visit this URL. GMAT classes at Bangalore, visit this URL.